guys, today I'm going to go get the 6 psi spring for the external wastegate. Let's go. Alright, off to Moravan. See if I was. <clears throat> get the window open. Awesome day in Melbourne. It is only 12 degrees though, Celsius. Nice blue skies. I'll try to get around this truck. Got the spring. See you guys when I get home. All right, guys, we are back. That is the spring that was in the wastegate, and here is the new one. So a lot easier. There's a wastegate. There's a spring in there. All right, let's do this again. There we go. Let's install it. <clears throat> okay, so to install it, we need to get this piston to come up a little bit. Because it seats pretty hard onto <coughs> the flange there. So what you do, well this is what I discovered. So put that back in, put that on, put the sleeve on. We get the nut again. So what we're doing now is bringing this up. There we go. So now it's going to be easier to install. try to install it. Hey guys, just a bit of warning. Might be a bit of swearing coming up. <laughs> so, I'm going to take the intake off. gonna be fun. Um, right. Do my best. Oh. 
Well, I've got it sitting on there. That popped the e band clamp off. to move you guys I'm kind of in the way it's a little bit of persuasion Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> Go from underneath. <sighs> My hammy is killing me from the gym. <sighs> Last video, I learned how to do the wastegate properly. This video, I learned go from underneath with the waist, the um, B band. Okay, it's not seated, right? There we go. Alright, let me get this off and it should seat properly. Should be seated now. Boom. That didn't go all the way through. Well, I'm missing one of the adjustable bits, so that doesn't really matter at the moment. It's supposed to be vented. 
and I'm just using the spring. Um, the tool dust it. I do need to find it. It's down there somewhere. I'm also missing this one here. Must have uh, rattled a bit loose. Yeah, so the wastegate's back on. I'll put the screamer back on. It still needs to be welded. I'm waiting until I get some argon to do that. Yes, Bram, I'm going to get some argon. So I can TIG. Thanks for watching guys, next video we'll start it up and see how we go, see if it holds at the 5.8 psi that the spring is, yeah, cheers, bye.